Hi everyone, we're going to talk about flavoured water today. So I have a beautiful picture here and we're going to talk about how to drink more water, especially now that it's warming up. Um, we want to make sure we're hydrating enough and sometimes we're fine with just plain water, but sometimes it is more exciting to kind of add a bit of zing. today we've got parsley which might seem like a random way to flavor your water but actually parsley is super nutritious and it kind of looks pretty the greenery so you could literally just tear this with your hands you can chop it on the chopping board that I've got there or just kind of rip at it to make it look a bit more rustic and put that in the bottom of your pitcher tearing that parsley um, if you don't like parsley you can use a different herb maybe basil maybe coriander Make sure you've washed your hair before, like I have. And then lemon is always a, fla uh, a flavour favourite. This one you will need to actually chop, so let me just grab my knife. So you can just halve your lemon. Make sure again that you've washed it. This one, I think I'll give a second look to you. Felt a little dusty. So you've got two halves of the lemon there, that will go in with the parsley. And then if you wanted to add a bit of fruit too, We've got some options. Um, I have here a uh, sort of tangerine. I've also got a pear. Maybe I'll use the pear today since that's a little bit more unusual. Take that paper off the pear and yeah, let's see if we can have pear, parsley, and lemon water. Um, chopping a pear can be a bit tricky. Make sure that I've got my board here. Um, so I'm going to use maybe just half the pear. So I'll leave that section there. And then I'm going to do, let's do the bridge there. Okay, so I've got half the pear. If I chop it down again that way, and then maybe this way. So I've got a few chunks of pear. And don't forget, you can always eat the fruit at the bottom of your water pitcher when you're done with it. Um, if you've got an apple, it would also have similar seeds. But pears have slightly fewer. You can just pull out a couple of seeds. Honestly, there's no harm in having them. But if you want to pull them out, you can. You could also cut them off, but... This is quite a soft pear, so it's coming out fairly easily. Great. And so those pieces of pear are going to go into the bottom of there. Um, if you wanted to use a brighter citrus fruit, like an orange, as I said before, we've got chuck in an orange. You could put in an apple, as I said. And then here we go. We've got a beautiful pitcher of flavoured water. And the longer this will sit, the longer that those flavours will mingle. You might find that um, you drink more water this way. And certainly if you're trying to tempt other people or make a good... Um, table centerpiece of pretty pretty water then that will be a fantastic thing to have so here you go this is going to go in the fridge and um, it'll be nice and cool for when I'm ready to drink but that will taste beautiful mm -hmm.